front of you you'll see some aircraft taking off they will be displaying for you a little bit uh, later on this morning but it is now <laughs> They uh, have all their parachutes and they fit fairly local to uh, Oxfordshire area. They did a little bit in the south east, south west. And then in 1965 they displayed at the Royal International Air Tattoo. And the RAF was so impressed with what they saw at the time. It's their experience flight because a lot of the UASs have the air experience flights embedded within them. Right, air experience for members of the Air Cadets. And John is an ex tornado and Hawk pilot and he also instructs on the UAS and this flight is something of a milestone for him because he's notching up his 2,000 flight the most ski of the boy in Burnley, Surrey he joined the Royal Air Force in 1997 completion of flying training he was posted to Ryan Kinloss in the flight of the ski has now regained his airspeed and achieves 1,300 feet at the top of a half horizontal lane Operationally, Skiers flows in the airport over the boat for up, not down Switching between level and inverted flight, Ski performs the flip-flop. One of the Royal Air Force's largest flying schools, number six flying training schools. Tutors use the train junior RAF pilots. University Air Squadron students and air cadets being flown on air experience flights around the UK. Ski now pulls nose up 60 degrees, quarter rolls, pauses for a moment, quarter rolls again, and will pull the shooter through in a maneuver known as hesitation after you make. When it comes to air experience flying, there are 12 flights serving over 1,000 air cadet squadrons nationwide. Join the Air Cadets if you're between 12 and 17 years old. From the age of 13, you can glide in the Viking, or fly in the Tutor, or request to experience the aerobatic maneuvers you see today. For those of you that are older, there are 50 university air sports across the UK, all linked to nearby universities. As well as flying, there is a huge opportunity for personal development, embracing the Royal Air Force's core values of respect, integrity, service and excellence with sports and adventurous training around the world. Naturally, this is not a comfortable position to be in. Blood begins rushing to his head. High tempo of Royal Air Force operations continues today. The aircraft and personnel deployed around the world. Support to the Balkan Islands, Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan. While others secure the skies above the United Kingdom. In preparing for operations, the Royal Air Force conducts rigorous and challenging exercises globally. These operations and exercises would not be possible without working closely with our NATO and UN partners around the globe. Today the Royal Air Force is expanding and recruiting for over 50 rewarding